Good evening everyone, welcome to Adult Craft Night. My name is Betty, I'll be going over the instructions tonight. You should have everything you need in your kit except for some scissors and you may want to grab something to put on your table before you start working because this will get a little bit messy. I'm going to go over everything we're using tonight. Normally for something like this we would be using rubber and one of these stamp carving tools but this is an easier way to do it. You just um, won't be able to make as intricate a design as you would with the stamp carver. But you should have your towel, a sponge brush, a block of wood, some Speedwell screen printing ink, and some foam. You will need to grab some scissors and also some paper towels and things. And you may want to put something down or do this in an area that you don't care um, if it gets too messy, just in case you get the ink outside of the towel. So the foam we're using has an adhesive on the back. So what we're going to be doing is planning our designs and then just peeling this back and sticking it directly to the wood. So this is pretty easy to cut. So depending on what kind of design you're going to do, if you're going to do some type of repeating pattern, it can be difficult to see what you're doing if it's smaller than this block. So the easiest thing would be to trim it to the exact size of this block and have your design take up this whole space. Um, I didn't want to do that, so instead my design is just here along the top so that when I'm stamping I can see where it is and I'm able to line it up. So that's another option. You can just put the stamp or design in one corner that you can kind of see better. If you put it in the middle, it's going to be difficult to tell where exactly you're placing your design. So really simple. This is just three lines and I'm just going to do a repeating pattern all over. So once you've cut out your design and stuck it to the wood, you're going to use your sponge brush to apply the screen printing ink. And you just want to cover this evenly so you don't want too much paint. But you do want an even layer. So you just want it all to be kind of shiny. And then once you've got a layer of paint on here, then you can stamp. And so I've got my towel weighted down, but I started here on the other end and I'm basically just filling in space. I don't really have a specific pattern in mind. I just wanted to fill the towel and uh, have it not take forever, but <laughs> if you have more patience, you can do uh, a design that's a little bit more planned out. So I've started here, and I'm gonna continue this way. And I can't decide if I wanna go, yeah, I'm gonna go here. So I'm just lining this up to make sure that it continues from here. So that's basically all you need to do. I think the hardest part is coming up with something to stamp.
So once you've finished, you just want to set it aside for about a day to dry it off, and then after that you'll need to heat set it. So this is 100% cotton, so you're going to need to get an iron and a scrap piece of fabric, and you'll lay the fabric on top and then iron over that. Make sure it's something you don't care about just in case some of the ink transfers. So you'll iron it for about a minute, and then you can even do it on the other side with the scrap fabric if you want as well. And that's pretty much it. It should be safe to wash and dry after that. So I hope you enjoyed today's craft. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I will see you next month.